Hello students. So today we are starting with the chapter photosynthesis of class 11th standard. This chapter is concerned with uh, the board examination. This chapter is having weightage of 5 marks and questions asked from this chapter with option 7 marks. So let's get started with the introduction of this chapter. Introduction How living beings get their food? This is the basic information uh, which you have earlier studied about that. Plants prepare their food themselves and animals depends on another animals and plants for their food. You have know this. Now second question is how plants synthesize their food? When plants prepare their food themselves and animals also depends on plants for their necessity of food, then how plants synthesize their food? So, the anabolic reaction is takes place in the plants in which small molecules combine to form a energetic molecules which provide energy and this process is endergonic. Endergonic means storage of energy is also takes place. Carbon dioxide CO2 requiring process that uses light energy and the molecules of light known as photons and water molecules to produce organic macromolecules that is glucose. So in this equation we have seen that carbon dioxide water molecule photons from the sunlight form these micro these micromolecules form the macromolecules that is glucose and oxygen is released into the atmosphere. So this is uh, the process in short by which the plants prepare their food. Next that is why plants are known as autotrophs. Auto means self and troph means to feed. They feed their self by preparing their own food. So definition of the photosynthesis is synthesis of carbohydrate from inorganic materials like carbon dioxide and water molecule with the help of solar energy trapped by pigments like chlorophyll. What is photosynthesis in the form of this diagram? We can easily understand that the plants are using this carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, sunlight and the water from the soil and all these micromolecules perform photosynthesis in the green parts of the plants whether it is a stem or leaves mostly in leaves this photosynthesis is taken place and they form the chemical energy or we can say carbohydrate or sugar in to uh, and provide to the whole plant growth of the whole plant energy needed to live this is the concept behind it now the question is how much photosynthesis is important? Why this photosynthesis is important to be happen in the green plants? So, uh, the photosynthesis is important due to two reasons. Number one, it is the primary source of all food on earth and second, it is responsible for the release of oxygen into the environment or atmosphere. So, these two points are showing uh, very much importance of photosynthesis in this living world as it is the primary source of all food means uh, whatever food atoms we are having and on the earth for plants as, as well as animals it is related with the plants only. The primary basic source of the food atom is our green plants and second one it is responsible for the release of oxygen. This it means the byproduct when prepared in last of photosynthesis that is glucose which is useful for plants. But, but uh, simultaneously the green plants releases oxygen into the environment which is the basic requirement for the animals also. Because of the oxygen uh, we can survive uh, except this oxygen without this oxygen we can't survive. So this 
uh, is correlated with the photosynthesis that uh, we are respire with uh, the main component of our respiration that is oxygen we get from the plants when they perform photosynthesis. So, the, uh, so in this way photosynthesis or happening of photosynthesis occurrence of photosynthesis in this world is so much important. Okay. Now, why are plants green? Most of the plants are green and photosynthesis for uh, process of photosynthesis is uh, done in green parts of the plant mostly we have learned that we have heard that uh, heard that you know and then what is it, uh, the component behind that the plants are looking uh, looks green uh, so the plants are have green chloroplast means one of the cell organelle in the previous classes you have studied about the cell organelles and among them chloroplast is one of the cell organelle most important cell organelle uh, as it performs the photosynthesis so that cell organelle chloroplast is having pigments named as chlorophyll and these pigments are green in color so that's why the mostly the parts of the plant and leaves are looks green what about those plants which are not having green leaves? So, those plants are having another type of pigments which are responsible for another color simply. But photosynthesis also taken place on uh, in those plants also but not so much uh, amount of the uh, photons they are received from the sunlight. So, maximum amount of photons to receive from the sunlight is of chlorophyll. So, the answer is simply the green plants are having chloroplast and chloroplast is having chlorophyll pigments that is why we see plants are green in color. Now, here are some experiments in previous classes you might have done certain experiments which show the essentiality of the raw material required for photosynthesis that is light, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll. We are going to start with experiment which show essentiality of chlorophyll and light. So, in this experiment we have to take a potted plant or two leaves variegated leaves. Two leaves I am showing here this variegated leaves yellow part chlorophyll absent in this part and the green part in which chlorophyll is present. So, this leaf one covered with a black paper leaf and uh, exposed to the sunlight for 1 to 2 hours. After 2 hours these 2 layers plugged and taken then to check starch. Leaves dipped into iodine solution now it will change to blue black. Result is that or conclusion is that in covered leaf blue color absent means no starch formation means no photosynthesis takes place where the part is covered. So, conclusion is that light is essential for the photosynthesis and second one is leaf which exposed to light turn into blue color. Blue color appears on the part which was green earlier means the conclusion is that chlorophyll is essential. So, these two conclusions we are uh, taken uh, can taken out from this experiment simple experiment that uh, uh, the green part is necessary for photosynthesis that is uh, that means the chlorophyll is very much important and necessary for the process of photosynthesis as they going to trap the light ok photons from the sunlight sun rays and second one light is also essential when we cover the part of the plant green part of the uh, leaf the in that part uh, photosynthesis is not happened uh, actually chlorophyll is present there but covering uh, is the uh, up, uh, stop the up, um, reach uh, stop to reach the sunlight to the chlorophyll so light is not uh, reached to the chlorophyll so uh, pro photosynthesis is not happen so that's why from this simple experiment we concluded two points main points that is light is essential also and chlorophyll is essential now this second experiment is Moll's half leaf experiment and this experiment is to show essentiality of carbon dioxide. In this experiment what we have actually done 
uh, we took a potted plant one of the leaf of the plant is placed in a jar without removing it from the plant uh, inside a jar cotton is placed which soaked in koh potassium hydroxide and that potassium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide a pical part starting part of the leaf is an atmosphere of potassium hydroxide which react with carbon dioxide basal part of leaf is in the carbon dioxide having open atmosphere now this plant kept kept under sunlight for 1 to 2 hours and the leaf gets plugged or removed from testing for testing of the starch to test starch leaf should be dipped into iodine then when the leaf dipped into the iodine what should be observed at the basal part of leaf blue color appears means there is starch formation done means concluded that carbon dioxide is also essential for photosynthesis at apical part starch is not formed means carbon dioxide is unavailable part so unable to perform photosynthesis and the, we have concluded from this experiment that carbon dioxide is also essential for photosynthesis so this is all about the introduction and uh, basic uh, knowledge or basic information about the photosynthesis which you have already learned in previous classes with these two experiments also so keep watching uh, this uh, next topic our our next topic will be historical background about photosynthesis in details so keep watching